I miss FPS games with female protagonists. Are we ever gonna get another one? Hello everyone, I am Wonder Media, aka WMTF2, and welcome to my very first first impressions video. Now before I actually get started, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos that I've been having since posting that admittedly rushed Gmod short for Christmas last year. It was basically a combination of me being lazy as fuck and being absolutely scared of what's been happening in the world today, especially in the US. But I am just glad that action has finally been taken and that we will all live at least until November to see it all gone and we can all continue on with our daily lives. But now, on to the main part of the video. Do you remember the FPS games from the 90s, back when all you had was a HUD that showed you health and ammo and graphics that were considered crap now compared to the games of today? Well, if you're a fan of those type of FPS games, then you're in luck! The game I'm doing my first impressions video on, on today is called Iron Maiden. And no, that is not a typo. This is not about that metal rock band, Iron Maiden. Published by 3D Realms, the Duke Nukem guys, and developed by Void Point, Iron Maiden is an FPS game with something that hasn't been seen in years. A badass female protagonist. Hallelujah! fucking -luya. You play as Shelly Bombshell Harrison, who earned the codename as a bomb disposal expert for the Global Defense Force. The demo has been! <laughs> See? She swings into action when a cult mastermind named Dr. Jadis Heskel unleashes a cybernetic army on the city of Neo DC. It sounds silly and it sounds like it was ripped off a cheesy 90s action film like Demolition Man. But that's the kind of game this is. Fast-paced, explosive, with lots of blood and gore, all done on the now 22-year-old build engine. <laughs> you serious? This game is built on the same engine that 3D Realms used on classic games like Shadow Warrior, the original, and of course Duke Nukem 3D, with some new additions so that it doesn't feel that old. I played this game on medium, and it was quite a challenge. The enemies was a bit tough to take down on this difficulty, so I hate to imagine what hard difficulty was. However, the enemies were still fun to battle with and the various weapons I had on hand made it great fun to take them down. Apart from these wankers! The weapons are great fun to use as well. The revolver that you start with is damn accurate. I didn't use the electric stick that much, however. The barrel shotgun, which I used a lot of though, was great. And the Uzi, or minigun, was okay to use. And while the game does feature modern mechanics like autosave, it also features old school mechanics like quick save, so there's something for everyone here. There's also easter eggs and a lot of secrets, but I did go fighting all of them, mainly because I want to enjoy this game. I mean, I can, I can look for secrets another time. The final boss, however, was a beast to take down, even on medium. And I don't want to hear any of that maybe you suck or this is the dark soul of FPS games bullshit. Because I'm aware of how much I don't do well in FPS games, but I do at least try. So cut me some slack. But anyway, once I did figure out the best way to take down the final boss, I was victorious after many tries. And this being a demo, that's when the game ended. Meh, this game is only a demo. The full version is expected to be released later on this year, but from what I've played so far of this demo, I really enjoyed this game. It's fun, fast paced, with great weapons, tough enemies, and a badass female protagonist. Which is something we need more of. Just as long as the Call of Duty bastards don't get involved. I mean, after rooting what could have been a great World War II game, I'm not relying on them for great FPS single-player games anymore. And with that, I highly recommend Iron Maiden if you're into fast-paced FPS games and you want to see what those games of the 90s were all about, with the few modern mechanics thrown in for good measure. It's on Steam and GOG.com right now if you want to check them out, links are in the description below. And with that, thanks for watching. I do hope to do more G1 videos in the future, and I'll see you all next time.